Hi everyone. I thought today we could do a little experiment with food coloring again. You need a dish, kind of like this, not a big tall bowl, but a lower, flatter one. You need some milk. You pour the milk in to the bowl, cover the whole bottom. Don't need too much. You add dish soap. Just, I don't know how much some squirts. So it kind of looks like this. Whoa, I almost spilt it. And dish soap. You see how the dish soap stays on top of the milk? You add some food coloring. Put it all in one spot. And you take a Q-tip. And you're going to dip the Q-tip into where the food coloring is. And it moves here. I'll back up the camera. It moves with the Q-tip, see? A circle. And the dish soap keeps it from moving away from the circle. I'll make another circle. Could pop. Wow, that's pretty cool. Look at that. Try another color. I don't know where I'm going to put this. I'm just put it down here. I'm going to try putting the red in. So here, I can drop a little bit of red. Make sure you put it in the same spot. Take your Q-tip, and I'm going to try to write an M for the first letter of my name. I don't have much room, but let's give it a go. Ready? Oh, look. As I move this up closer to the green, the green moves away from the red. It won't let me mix with the green. Wow. That's cool. Yeah, let me try to make an M. No, it doesn't really work. Let's move it over to the green. Look, the green is running away from the red. Look at it. My goodness, that's so cool. The dish soap is making it so the colors don't blend together. That's so awesome. You could try this with different colors too. So you need milk, and then you put the dish soap in, and then the food coloring, and use a Q-tip. That's so cool. I hope everyone has a great day. Bye guys.